Welcome to the Lumension Pattern Remediation video vignette series, in which we discuss how to use specific features and capabilities of Lumension Pattern Remediation to improve the security of endpoints in your organization's network. Today we will take a closer look at the Lumension Content Wizard that interfaces with and extends the capabilities of Lumension Pattern Remediation and Lumension Endpoint Management and Security Suite. Hello, my name is Andre Hilwig, and in this episode I'm joined by Russ Ernst from Product Management to show you how you can easily deploy, upgrade, and remove software using Dimension Content Wizard and Patch and Remediation. Organizations are more distributed than ever, which makes the need to distribute critical software updates to every server, desktop, and laptop even more challenging. Many organizations have no way of centrally managing software deployments, upgrades, as well as uninstalls. And all too frequently, users actually take matters into their own hands and install and uninstall software that is against company policy. So Russ, how can organizations centralize and effectively manage software distribution in their endpoint environments? Well, hi, Andrea. And the simple answer to that is to use a combination of the Lumension Endpoint Management and Security Suite with the Patch and Remediation Module with the Lumension Content Wizard. So in this example, what I'm going to show is how to use the Lumension Content Wizard to quickly and effectively create an uninstall patch for a common application that may not be desirable in your environment and then use the Lumension Endpoint Management Security Suite patch and remediation module to enforce the policy to remove that off of your endpoints. So first off let's show the LCW or the Lumension Content Wizard and let's generate a new patch. So again I have some options for creating new content. I can create a new patch itself here or I could create an uninstall patch, also have my power management policies and my other policy content types. But as I mentioned, I want to create an uninstall patch. So I want to generate that wizard to remove content from my environment. Now in this example, what I can do is I can scan my current local device where the LCW is located or a remote device to look for the common application that may be on that endpoint to generate this uninstall patch. And I know that I have this, this application on my local device, so I'm going to scan this local device. So this brings up a list of software that's available to be uninstalled. And in this example, I want to uninstall the Yahoo Toolbar. So I'm going to go ahead and create this uninstall content for Yahoo Toolbar. And here I've generated the patch. And here are the available signatures here. You can see it's a, applicable to all the major cont uh, endpoint types here for Windows. And in this case, uh, I will keep it as a content type of software. And now it's a simple matter of saving that. Now when I'm finished saving this content, it's actually going to save it to my local patch storage on my Lumension Endpoint Management Security Suite content storage area. And what I'll do is I'll navigate back to the Lumension Endpoint Management Security Suite now and review that software. So I'll do a search for Yahoo. And it may not be applicable to my endpoints at this time because after, since I've just created this content I'll now have to run a DAU on my endpoints to discover if the, that content is applicable to those endpoints. But here's the content itself here. And I can see it's an uninstalled patch for Yahoo Toolbar. Now I can choose to deploy this to my environment simply by using the deploy wizard. But what I said I wanted to do was actually enforce the use of this uninstall throughout my organization. So by creating an enforcement policy, I want to actually generate a mandatory baseline for this content. I'll choose my XP Power Savings group here. And I want to look for the vulnerabilities in that, that mandatory baseline group. I'm going to manage that mandatory baseline. Here is that uninstall Yahoo toolbar.
and now I've added that to a mandatory baseline policy. So it's as simple as that. Wow, sounds great. Thanks, Russ. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed this short video on how Lumension Content Wizard and Lumension Patch and Remediation help you improve security while reducing your total cost of ownership. For more information, please visit the Lumension Content Wizard page on our website, where you can also get free premium security tools to assess your network today. Thank you.